tonight I've got the place for you to find a million dollar idea and it's so close. It's a woman's closet. Husbands and wives open up those doors and talk about everything in there, all the little problems, clothes, shoes, accessories, everything, because that's where the millions are. Like my next guest realized with her jeans, Catherine Hart, found her hello skinny jeans. So you're only a year old and, and what was the problem you were solving? Most jeans make you look worse. The way they were engineered and the blasting patterns on them actually made your hips look wider, your thighs look fatter, your butt big and droopy, and, and um, made you look like if you were tall, you just came out of a flood. So what I did was I, I took the inseams and I drew them slightly forward, and then instead of just using a pattern to make the jeans look worn, I took advantage of it and created optical illusions to make the front of the thigh looked like it came forward and then the sides darker so that it looks overall slimmer. And then with whiskering, instead of just having this worn area, I made it look like the natural leg, the leg break is higher than the natural wow. leg break. And then in the back we did the same thing where we would make the hips look darker on the side so it would make your butt look... Oh, that's amazing. Really now you were a practicing attorney studying for your bar in New York or, or, or an L.A. attorney. How long did you ever do this? I didn't. I had absolutely no idea. There you go. We love that. Absolutely no experience whatsoever. And in retrospect, it probably helped. But I just got started. I started asking a million questions. I Googled how to make jeans. I talked to everybody. I went to mills. I did everything. And um, it was really hard going because people didn't want to work with me. I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I would say, do this, do this. And I couldn't get it right. And I remember when I finally got my first jeans and, and they're made in LA and washed in LA when they were sent to me they were the worst looking jeans I ever saw in my life <laughs> oh my god I just spent ten thousand dollars and then the next pair was even worse and I kept going at it at it at it finally it took really a long time it took almost a full year to get it right and then to start getting the you know jeans out there I love it I love it mm -hmm. and what now what's there's a generic ironically I don't know if this is good or bad for you there's a a genre of jeans now, skinny jeans, which are basically narrow at the bottom, right. and that's pretty much. So has, how has that, has that helped or hurt well, your business? Well, it, it actually has helped. Um, I registered the, I mean, I have the registered trademark skinny jeans, and I also have the URL skinnyjeans.com, which was before any of this skinny jeans thing started. How, where did this, I, you know, I'm always astounded when somebody, you're an attorney, where, obviously, millions, hundreds of millions of people wearing jeans. How did you get the lightning bolt to say, no, they're made wrong, they can be skinnier, where would that come from? Well, you just, you know, when you're looking at a pair of jeans and you can see what's wrong with them, why they look bad, it just, it was so apparent to me. I was just thinking, all someone would have to do is just change this around, do this, do this, and then you realize that, you know, might as well be me to do that. No one else is doing why it. Why not me? Yeah, exactly. We love that. Catherine Hart, founder of Hello Skinny Jeans. When we come back, Catherine and all my other guests will give you some brilliant shortcuts that are going to help you get your business started. If you got one, maybe do it better. Next, what's the cheap way to get a patent? What's the best kind of store for a cold?